Welcome to the Art of Shader tutorial series, where we explore the powerful capabilities of the Art of Shader asset packs for Unreal Engine. Each of these packs contains a collection of post-process blendable materials, carefully crafted to suit a specific visual style. No matter which AOS pack you choose from the Unreal Marketplace, this tutorial series is here to guide you through the different features and functionalities of the packs. In this video, I will give you a brief overview of what the Art of Shader series is all about, and provide you with a solid foundation for getting started with the asset packs. So let's dive in and explore the exciting world of Art of Shader. We will first look into the folder structure. Inside the Art of Shader folder, you will find a set of common assets that will be relevant across all AOS packs, and the respective folder which depends on whichever asset pack you purchased from the marketplace. There are two ways to get started adding the AOS effects to your scene. One is by adding the blendable materials in a post-process volume, and the second is by using this blueprint called BP underscore Art of Shader, which makes it more convenient to quickly combine and group multiple different AOS materials to your scene. We will start by adding a post-process volume in the level. We will set its infinite extent to true. In the post-process materials array, we can start adding the desired blendable material by navigating over to the corresponding folder and selecting a material instance. Each of these material instances are customizable, with a set of common parameters that define various AOS features which will be discussed later, along with a set of parameters unique to the particular material, and can be used to further customize the given effect, till you get your desired result. You can control the blendable weight directly from your post-process volume, but that often does not give you correct outcome. So, for better results, you can tweak this post-process blend parameter from the corresponding material instance. You can also play with the post-process multiply blend and post-process overlay blend for some interesting variations of the blending. Also, if you have purchased one of the distortion packs, you will find this additional parameter called distortion blend, which would blend between the original UV and the distorted UV, allowing you to tone down the effect of the distortion. By adding multiple blendable materials to your scene, you can combine the effects of two or more materials to achieve a unique look for your project. To control the strength of each effect, you can adjust the blend parameters, and to create even more interesting variations, you may want to adjust the shader-specific parameters. I hope this tutorial provided you with a good understanding of the basics of using the Art of Shader series pack. In the upcoming tutorials, we'll delve deeper into the various features and functionalities of the pack. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.